Hi everybody, I'm Holly Granger. I'm a registered dietitian and mom, and I am here with my daughter, Ellie. Ellie, can you say hi? Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm five. She is Ellie and she is five, and today we are making one of our favorite desserts. Ellie, can you tell everybody what it is? Apple biscotti. Apple spaghetti. So this is a really great recipe for involving your kids. I like to use a spiralizer that helps to make the spaghetti. So what you want to do to start, this is probably a good job for mom or dads if you're using a big old knife, is you just want to cut a flat surface on both the top and bottom of your apple. All right, so then place that right in. And then this is where Ellie likes to participate. Let her crank it. Sometimes if you're not on a surface where it will stick, you just have to hold it down. And there you go. You can see, here you can turn towards the camera. You can see that it starts to spiral. This gives us delicious apple spaghetti. And apple juice. And some apple juice, that's right. Woo, look at that go. I think we're to the end. All right, Ellie, nice job. Very good. All right. So once you have your apple spaghetti, you can use one or two apples. I just like to toss it with a little bit of lemon juice to keep the apple strands from turning brown. Once you've made the apple spaghetti, it's so easy to make your strawberry spaghetti sauce. So Ellie and I have a fun way that we like to remove the green leaves. So you just put the straw on the end and pop it straight through. Oh, and then you spit it out like this. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. So you definitely can just use your knife to cut off the leaves, but this is certainly a lot more fun. The more you can involve your children in the kitchen and let them play with the food, the more likely they are to become healthier eaters and just more comfortable in the kitchen cooking. All right, so once all of your strawberries are in the blender, add some lemon juice just to brighten up the flavor. I do it. And then give it a whirl. Beautiful. Nice job. So here's our spaghetti sauce. Delicious. Okay, let's make meatballs. Meatballs. To make the meatballs, just use a melon baller and watermelon. Make it into a ball. Pop it on. Boom. Delicious. All right. I think that looks good. Now, for the most important part, Let what goes on? Okay, put that one in. What goes on the top? Cheese. The cheese. So I'm just using white chocolate bark and you grate it right over. You want to try? Of course. Thanks, Mommy. You're welcome. Ellie's going to give us a final bite and tell us what she thinks. How do you like it? Love it. Delicious. All right, well, if you like this recipe, make sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can find the full recipe on Holly Granger Nutrition, and I hope you have fun making this with your family, just as much fun as I did with her. Enjoy.